Hello folks, welcome back to episode 5 of my Let's Play tutorial series for Crusader Kings 2. I'm James Johnson. And if we remember right, we're halfway through our Regency. We're at 8 years old. We need to get to 16 so that we can start having some children. However, our uncle did have a child, so we're, we're not looking as dire of straits as we were before. Things went pretty well with our battles. We do have to wait to become an adult so we can strip this title away. And other than that, we've got pretty good smooth sailing looking in front of us. Alright, go on ahead and starting the game now. So, afraid is frowning at me. Waste of time, it will never fit. You've grown out of it, she says. But it's my favorite hat. Hmm. So, willful. Let's go with that one, shall we? So if you're not aware, uh, if you have a trait such as Willful, and um, when you turn 15, there will be a event um, in which your your mentor or guardian um, if they are brave they can turn willful into brave though um, it will tend to have some sort of negative consequence and the AI won't generally do it if they don't have a reason to so if they're a parent they they tend tend to be more inclined to because you're their child. Um, as a player, we get the option. So, you know, if it's going to be our heir, we're, we're more than likely going to make sure that character turns brave. Um, but with the AI, it can be a little more tricky. So if it's someone that doesn't have a lot, a lot riding on you, they may not be in, inclined to fix the trait, and you could end up not being brave, even though that's might have been what what you were going for. <coughs> so anyway, that's that's kind of uh, a little dabble of how the new education system works. To be fair, I am not a fan of the new education system that has been brought to us because of Conclave. I far preferred the old education system. Um, and I would really like to have the old education system back, but sadly, you know, we were not probably going to ever see that happen unless you roll back to 2.4.1.5. I happen to know that number so well because I stayed at that version for quite a while. I, w I was not a happy person about Conclave. I still think Conclave is one of the worst... Uh, Worst DLCs that has come out, but I've learned to deal with it these days. Alright, our steward is passed on or taken off or something, so we need to chase down a new steward. Yep, we definitely need to chase down a new steward.
So I kind of want him, but not as a steward. It's nice to get a, a siege leader for, uh, for fights. So I might invite this guy and this guy. <coughs> This commander is not very good, but oh well, it doesn't look like I have a lot to choose from. How old are we now? We are nine years old. We're getting closer. Culture map mode here. A lot of Irish and Anglo Saxons. We'll we'll need to to push out these these insolent cultures and replace them with good solid Welsh culture. Just taking a look around and seeing what's happened in the world. Looks pretty standard quo, if you will, for most 769 starts. <coughs> Chancellor shopping. Well, if there's nothing else you learn how to do, you'll definitely figure out how to use this character finder. I seem to be utilizing it a lot lately. Prince of Bavaria, huh? Welcome to the court.
No, I'm noticing something right now. With the negative 184.34 score, I believe if I was to end this game right now, it would be the lowest score I've ever had in Crusader Kings. <coughs> and obviously that's because I married that uh, peasant, if you will, right before dying. And so my low prestige is reflected in my score there. So, what are my plans in the future? Well, Dyft is right here. This uh, county will be on the agenda in the near future. And then probably Gwent. Once I get Gwent and Dyft, I can then usurp this title. But, I probably won't usurp it. I'll probably end up coming in and taking him out and letting the title be destroyed. Right, I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Penguin is doing very well. People are happy and tax collectors are reporting record index. Very nice. So, and the reason I'm going to let that title be destroyed is in the future, if I want to have a few more vassals, these are likely the provinces I would give those give away as vassals. And so those earls uh, would not have a, a negative opinion of them, them wanting to become the duke because the title doesn't exist. Oh great, my Chancellor has improved the opinion of my of my traitorous Earl in my dungeon. Galahad is always so annoying. I think he tries to win against me in games just to spite me. No, no, no. You should always try to win. Not just to spite someone. Doesn't matter. I don't want to lose prestige. I'll tell him to stop and the matter escalates. Gain prestige may lead to rowdy. Well, I'm fine with that. Ah, no rowdy. And I didn't get willful from the last event. Well, that's sad. But I still have a chance to get rowdy. All I have to do is make my cousin, one of the only three members of my dynasty alive, my rival. Huh. This is actually a tough decision here. Um... Because the dynasty is so small, I, I don't think I want to have my cousin be my rival at this point. So I'm actually going to avoid getting that rowdy trait, even though it would be useful. And I'm going to take the prestige hit. I'm going to walk away. <coughs> Now 10, getting closer.
So it looked like there was a female in the court that is not married. My regent's not married. Oh, uh, that's probably because she used to be married to my father. Just putting another marriage out there so there'll be more kids floating around and possibly get some better uh, counselors in the future grown here in the court without having to import them. Oh, look at that money. Look at that, tech. Alright, so tech. I haven't really talked a lot about tech. Um, there's some techs that are just better than others. And in the military tab, uh, this siege equipment is pretty useful in that it will make sieges happen faster. So th this is more kind of the guy I put in second place on this tab. But first place is clearly military uh, military organization. So the reason that I like military organization so much is not just because it increases the morale of your armies when they fight, and not just because it increases your global supply limit, which those both in and of themselves are amazing things that will help uh, win battles all on their own, but it also provides retinue. And if you're not familiar with Retinue, you may or may not have the Legacy of Rome DLC. If you do have the Legacy of Rome DLC, then Retinues are pretty cool in that they're standing armies. And the higher you can get your military organization up, uh, just the more access to Retinues you have. And I like that. So I go with military organization because of it. In the uh, economic section. This one's a little more complicated. Um, because I'm a player that likes to grow tall. I'll use a Civ 5 reference, maybe you guys will understand. But I like to stack up castles in my empty holdings and keep all of my holdings within my capital duchy. This allows me to have a lot of troops, though it's not good for income from cities and because of that I draw my income from my castles themselves and as such I need to go a tech route here in the culture tree that will most assist drawing tax from my castles and the way that that's done is through the improved keeps and the castle infrastructure though you have to kind of raise these up in a balanced manner because castle town is the main thing that's going to give you more castle income but as you can see the next advancement in castle infrastructure is castle town 3 you can't get to castle town 3 if you don't ha have walls 2 and in order to have walls 2 you have to have the next level of improved keep so the first research I go with in this tree is Improved Keep to unlock the Castle Walls 3, or 2, sorry. And then I go up here to Castle Infrastructure and I raise that up. And then I come back to Improved Keep and I raise that up. And back to Castle Infrastructure and raise that up. Back and forth, back and forth. And then I'll fill in the others later. But those are the two that I focus on because of my play style of utilizing castles over towns. 
Then there's the, the uh, culture tree. Legalism is um, first and foremost the primary research I will research here. And I'll go quite a ways up this tree. Um, there's a couple decisions that aren't as useful for a player that doesn't play as an emperor. So I think it's right around here where there's kind of a drop off and these two aren't so much as important. That's not to say that they're not, but they're not so much for a king where they'd be more useful for an emperor. So at this point I might start thinking about majesty, noble customs, or even sometimes tolerance, depending on the situation I'm in. Um, if I have a very clearly Welsh culture uh, without a lot of intermingling of religions or cultures, tolerance isn't so important, and majesty and, and noble customs is more useful. But if I've, you know, like been spreading my influence, maybe I came down here and captured the Kingdom of Portugal, and I'm getting ready to release it, because I do things like that. I like to seed my dynasty at places, and then let give them uh, independence and let them run with it. Uh, there's still time periods that these places that I'm I'm forming into kingdoms will be, be part of my kingdom as such. Uh, they could be different culture, sometimes different religion, and tolerance can help make that situation easier. <coughs> Alright, so let's get the time started back up. So yeah, once I get these three uh, provinces here, that'll give me six. And it will allow me to form the Kingdom of Wales. Then, uh, this duke, he will likely join me um, just by asking. He'll be like, yeah, you're my rightful king and we're both Welsh. Radio, I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. Where down here in Cornwall, he's a Breton. Oops, I thought that, here we go, culture mode. And as a stinking Breton, he's going to stick his nose up to at me and be like, no way. You're not my king. I want nothing to do with you. So if I want to bring uh, the Duchy of Cornwall into the Kingdom of Wales, I will likely have to do it through military force. got some money and I wanted to utilize that money. So as I was saying, I like to build up castle towns. But as you can see, in order to get this next level of castle town, it says I need castle walls. So I need to build this guy right here, castle walls. Which is cool because castle walls gives you a little bit of tax income. Also a little bit of levy and a slight amount of fort level, as you can see by the tooltip. So this is a pretty good thing to build, and it's going to raise your tax income ever so slightly. some walls down here right now, but we will shortly. to be. 
Boy, that that prisoner, he sure loves me at this point. <coughs> How did he get out of prison? Okay, I'm a bit confused. Um, anyone who is watching, if you noticed him get out of prison at any point, tell me how he did it in chat. That's that's a shame. Or wait, how old is he? He's twenty-two. Oh no! His dad died. He died in. Uh, so remember how I was talking about uh, the danger of him dying in prison? It happened. And so now I got a brand new account I have to deal with. Oh well. Uh, a new wrench, a new wrinkle in the, the fabric, if you will. So I need an education focus. And all I have is conscientious to this point. So, typically I like to set my education focuses at this time, but you don't have to. Right now, the only focus that I seem to uh, that I'd be fairly decent at is the stewardship focus. But things can change. Um, I could actually wait to set these and see if things pan out differently here in the future. So I'm not going to set this yet. Because it's me. Connection lost. I just heard connection lost. Connected. From TeamSpeak, and now it's reconnected. Okay, so it might have been a slight glitch. I, I, uh, I sit in TeamSpeak with some of my friends. And anyone who might know, uh, about how Iron Man works with uh, Crusader Kings. You don't want to have your internet connection uh, get cut off when it when it goes to update the Iron Man save, or it could corrupt your Iron Man save. And so typically, if I hear TeamSpeak say connection lost, it makes me want to stop the game immediately and wait until my internet connection comes back good. But because it was a very short connection lost, reconnected, slight little hiccup in my connection, I don't think there was anything to really have to worry about here. But, uh, yeah, um, this game has come a long way in the whole Iron Man saving uh, topic. For the first 800 hours I put in the game, I could not complete a game without my Iron Man save corrupting. And they've come a long way 
since those days. Uh, the game has gotten far more stable in playing Iron Man. And now I can complete games on a fairly regular basis without having any issues with my Iron Man saves. Though, I do take precautions like, for instance, what I was just saying. I will stop my game immediately and not continue on until my internet connection stabilizes. But yeah, that, that I... I that Iron Man uh, keeping that save from getting corrupted is can be kind of finicky at times. My steward wants to see someone dead, huh? Oh well. That'll work itself out. It'll be auto-ended, and he'll ask for forgiveness. This is going to turn into diligent, and I could end up stressed. Here's open. I don't. Looks like I dodged the stressed bullet. I think I'm going to go with that stewardship focus. Partially because my stepmother here uh, has a stewardship um, lifestyle trait. And it's one of the things she's better at. So I think that's where I'm going to end up anyway. So might as well capitalize it on it. People want to marry me. Heathers as classmates, and it's 
Well, it's not really Welsh. It's kind of Welshish, so why not? That's interesting. We got some independent. Oh, an earl with two earldoms. That's Welsh. Oh, how I wish I was queen already. make a good vassal, though he's not in my, this is not de jure kingdom of Wales, so he probably wouldn't accept anyway. worth a gander. Be letting time go a little fast. Could have thrown him in jail.
So I'm thinking about I could possibly marry him, but it's not a very good character. It's not that amazing of a treasure. So no, I'm not gonna do that. Seems my internet connection's a little flaky tonight. I wake up in the middle of the night, my heart's racing and my whole body is feeling strange. What was I really dreaming about? The farmer girl I met earlier? Interesting dreams, huh? That won't kissing me. Wait. What? He's a little old, isn't Connection he? lost. I should just try to get to sleep. Connected. So, well, we know that this would probably lead to a trait we don't want. This could lead to lustful, though I don't know if it would lead to him becoming a lover or not, which I'm not sure I would want that. I don't know. I'm curious. Let's, let's see what happens. Nope, I can gain less hole. Year to go.
Well, let's see what the marriage scene is like. Unless I invite him to court, it looks like. position. Well, darn it. Excellent. Midas touch. That's good. Well, I guess I could have been worse. Alright, so I'm going with theology focus just to go on a quick pilgrimage. Um, pilgrimages are something that doesn't take much time. I can get the pilgrim trait, which is a nice trait to improve people's opinion of me. 
and then once I get that knocked out of the way I can change back to a different trait. So this is just kind of a process that I go through to to build up my character and make my my character better. So it's the beginning of a training regime if if you will. <clears throat> right, grooming an heir is going to take yes at least 16 years, if not more. Um, in which time I could probably become King of Wales, or Queen of Wales already. Um, War chest, I don't plan to be saving money immediately right now because I'm still building uh, city castle towns that is so my money is going to be reinvested into making more money so this isn't as useful um, seeing their own prosper I don't think I'm going to be at peace for five years so I'm thinking the best way is just to go with becoming Queen of Wales at this point in time which I guess means I need to start fabricating and making that happen It's me taking my time figuring out a marriage again. Imagine that, guys. So the, the Earl of Suffolk here is, is looking interesting. I don't exactly want Suffolk. Um, it's not part of the Kingdom of Wales. It's over on the other side of England with Mercy in between. It's not really land that I you know, want at this point in time. He's the heir to the county of Westmoreland. Westmoreland is... heck 
because my spawn went like that. Probably that was a Oh, here we are. Yeah, not really interested in that either, though. That's not as far away. It is maybe realistic area for Wildstown. If I was to connect the Isle of Man and in this area here, I could make a bigger whales, though I don't normally do that. Here we go. Now this is more interesting. Brave, though he would be ambitious. Don't necessarily want an ambitious husband, but he gives me decent stewardship. He gives me the martial skill that I'm wanting. He is brave. He's on the older side, so might be able to kick the bucket and I can, you know, get a different one. So, most will very ambitious again. That's 48. He is ambitious, but those are good, solid, balanced stats all the way across the board. Who else was I looking at? This guy, right? He's 37. This guy would be really good. This guy is interesting because he's old. I could just, you know, pick him up for the time being and watch him die. But the problem is he's an heir to a bishopric, and so is that an issue? Yeah, because he can't really be married. Um, and this is my marshal. Can't marry him. I 
heck looking at this guy again? I think this is gonna be the person. So of course I'm inviting him to court because he's going to marry me matrilineally and he doesn't have any say in the matter when he's in my court. Of course, I'm going to take a prestige hit because I'm marrying down. I, I like to marry down, evidently. Recoup a little bit of prestige lost. So even with the prestige hit, we're still to the good, which is good. How's the husband feel about me? He's fine. Okay. Didn't I have a non-aggression pact with...
he's my cousin now, so... Yeah, he doesn't work for garnering alliances anymore. Well, I need to pump out some kids. That reminds me, I was going to go on my pilgrimage, but we will do the pilgrimage in the next episode. I see we're running a bit long on the time. Anyway, that was episode five. I uh, think I was a little quieter in this episode, not as much commentary. My apologies on that. Um, we're making progress. Hopefully you're having fun and uh, watching. And... Tune in next time for episode 6.